This show is brought to you by the Genesis Communications Network, a world leader in talk radio since 1998. Visit GCNlive.com today. To the Nasima Omer Show on this beautiful weekend. The Nasima Omer Show is produced by Genesis Communication Network, headquartered locally in the city of Burnsville in Minnesota. I am Nasima Omer, your host today, and I have a couple of great guests lined up for you. I am so excited because today's show is going to be about the city of Burnsville. I have been a resident of Burnsville for over 10 years, and I am a homeowner there. And so since then, I've learned a lot about Burnsville and what it has to offer. But before I move into that, I want to let you know that if you are just tuning into the show and would like to listen to it again or share the file with everybody you know, you may do so by going to nasimaomer.com or to gcnlive.com, that's Genesis Communication Network, live.com, and enjoy listening to the archived show at any time. You can also catch my YouTube channel, The Nasima Omer Show. Well, Burnsville, I have a very passionate spot in my heart for Burnsville. As I said, I live here and As I live here more and more and visit it more, now I'm in a neighboring little city, Lakeville, but it's so close to Burnsville that I am here many, many days of the week. Uh, Today, I'm going to interview the mayor of the city of Burnsville, Minnesota, Mayor Elizabeth Kautz, and also Amber Cameron. Welcome, Elizabeth. Well, thank you, Nasima. It's great to be here with you. Thank you so much for taking time off your busy schedule to be here, and I'm just so excited. I love what City of Burnsville is and what it has to offer. Uh, Mayor Elizabeth has also been the former president of the Council of Mayors as well. And so much more. Elizabeth, tell us a little bit more about you. Oh, thank you, Nasima. Uh, well, I have been the mayor of Burnsville for 20 years and running for re-election. So I'm on the presidential cycle, so this is the cycle that I am in, and it will be my eighth uh, election. But about Burnsville, when I came into office, one of the things that I wanted to do was to convene the community and look at a vision for the city of Burnsville. And so we did a revisioning. And as you can tell, there are so many things that we have done in Burnsville. And uh, there was an area in Burnsville that was very depressed and old and blighted. And it's 54 acres that uh, is uh, bounded by the Burnsville Parkway to the south and then 13 to the north and then also Eagle Ridge and to the east and then over to where Diamond Head Mall is. It's about 54 acres and we did a redevelopment. And so Nasima, the heart of the city is what it's called and Nicollet Commons Park is one of our most treasured uh, asset and amenity, and of course the Ames Center is located there, and it's a urban setting. So in Burnsville, you can experience all the different environments that uh, you choose. If you want to live in Burnsville and want to live in a suburban environment, you can do that. If you want an urban setting, that too is available. And if you want a rural setting, Southwest Burnsville is also that particular setting. So in Burnsville, we have a great balance between residential and commercial industrial uh, uses. So if you understand what's going on in Burnsville with the heart of the city, we have a wonderful park that's called Nicollet Commons Park, where the International Festival is going to take place oh, July 16th. Yes, July 16th, Saturday. That's coming up so soon. And I must say, everything you mentioned, I have kind of seen 
Burns will grow, as you explained, because I came into Burns when I think it was in uh, 2007. And a lot has happened since then. And the heart of the city, oh my gosh, especially in the winters and the holiday times, it is just beautiful and all lit up. And the Nicollet Commons Park is something that can be enjoyed by all ages, children included, in the summers in particular, that little fountain area in the pool area where the kids can wear their swimsuits and kind of dip their feet in there, and it's just fun, fun, fun. International Festival of Burns, or how did that come about to be? Oh, Nasima, thank you for asking. So it'll be about 10 years ago when we... Um, Institute and gave birth to the International Festival. As you know, our community was becoming quite an international mix of residents, and we wanted to make sure that everybody understood that we were a welcoming community and an inclusive community, and so therefore we took ownership of our identity as an international city. And uh, the International Festival was a way for us to get to know one another through dance and music and sharing our culture and food. People come together by sharing all of these various cultural experiences. And Nicolette Commons Park was a great gathering park. It's a central location for people to gather and get to know one another because when you do get to know each other, then you're no longer afraid uh, or have biases. Mm -hmm. And so that is what it was all about. And we have quite uh, a festival that has grown, and you can see the many, many nations that are part of our community. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It is so exciting, and I I myself actually um, got to know um, you, Mayor Elizabeth, in a much more personal level by, uh, we, we worked out together in our local YMCA right here in Burnsville. And um, that's actually how I came about to know about the International Festival of Burnsville and got involved with uh, many of the people on the board as well, Margo Swanson as well, and, and uh, have been uh, participating and volunteering in the family activities in the International Festival of Burnsville. And it is something that brings, as you said, the whole community together and so much more. Um, it's a little taste of a little culture, a little food, a little dance, a little of everything. And I think this would be a great time to bring Amber in into the conversation. And Amber Cameron is now on the board of the International Festival Burnsville. Welcome, Amber. Great. Thanks for having me, Nasima. You're welcome. Thank you for taking the time and being with us here today, Amber. Give us a little more of your background as well, please, and how you came about to be part of the International Festival of Burnsville. Great. Um, so my husband and I moved to Burnsville in 2010 and had always been involved um, with uh, international culture uh, types initiatives wherever we lived. We previously had lived in Philadelphia and then in Northfield, Minnesota, and we both grew up in Eden Prairie. And so when we moved, um, my husband saw an ad in the newspaper about the festival and that they're looking for volunteers. And so um, I contacted the chair then, Margot Swanson, and got involved um, and for then three years was chair of the raffle and beverage um, areas for the festival and now I'm um, helping to chair the the whole whole thing. Yes, yes. And I know uh, Mayor Elizabeth is very well traveled in the worldwide as well. And you yourself, I got to know a little bit of you and you yourself have had some experiences by traveling in far off lands as well, haven't you? Yes, um, we love to travel, so we try to do it as much as possible. Um, but some recent trips, uh, we just took our nine-month-old with us to um, Europe. We went to Germany, France, Switzerland, Liechtenstein, and Austria. So that was um, an exciting trip and challenging with the nine-month-old, but mm -hmm. we had a great time. And um, I also traveled recently to Peru and uh, Bermuda. Uh, we went to Pakistan um, a couple of years ago um, and just try to really um, – get out in the world as much as possible. Very nice, very nice. So um, 
How long have we had uh, the International Festival of Burnsville here? Um, it's been it's 10 years. It's been 10 yeah, years. I think we're going wow. to be celebrating our 10th year in the wow. SEMA. Wow. And it's just wonderful that we have uh, all of the volunteers. You are now part of the International Festival, but also to have Amber and her skill sets, her knowledge, uh, to be part of the International Festival and leading this organization. And so when we celebrate our 10th year, because Carlos Lopez is our master of ceremony, and he's been doing that for a while now, Mm -hmm. and um, we have great sponsors, people who value the work that we're doing, and that we are not only an inclusive community, but a caring community and a compassionate community. And part of what makes Burnsville so special, not only do we have the International Festival, but just uh, early in June, we celebrated I Love Burnsville. And we'll be celebrating I Love Burnsville um, next year, and that'll be its 10th year. So one of the things that uh, you mentioned earlier is that I, wh- I am a past president of the U.S. Conference of Mayors. And just at our annual meeting, uh, we... Um, had the Dalai Lama and, uh, at our meeting and also, um, Lady Gaga. And the whole conversation had to do with being, um, communities of compassion and kindness and love. And, uh, because in our world today, there is so much distrust, but there is something that we need to do, and that is, really to elevate that whole notion of care and compassion and love and kindness because we're all human beings. We are, absolutely. And there's so much other stuff going on all around us that if we can find these awesome little pockets of time Mm -hmm. to know that, you know, we are, as you explained, we're all human beings. Uh, We all have a heart. We have compassion. And we love each other's mm-hmm. company and a social environment, a community environment is very healthy mm-hmm. in uh, growth in many, many aspects. Yeah. yeah. And I'd like to hear from Amber because, Amber, I believe that you're part of a social engagement at the university as well. Is that correct? Correct. Yeah, I work. Um, I'm the associate director for public engagement initiatives at the University of Minnesota. Mm-hmm. And, you know, I hear that music, so we will pick it up when we get back to learn more from Amber on her involvement in her different fields. Stay tuned. Water is the single most important thing your body needs, so you want to be sure it's the best for you and your family. Since 2005, thousands have depended on Berkey Purified Water. The Berkey Guy provides the lowest price filtration systems in every size. For incredibly delicious water now and in an emergency, get to GoBerkey.com or call 877-886-3653. 877-886-3653. GoBerkey.com. This is Michael David from Seattle. I'm 51 years old, and six months ago, I started taking Andro 400 to increase my testosterone. Since then, I've lost 35 pounds of fat, and my waist went from size 38 to size 32. I have more energy, and I look and feel 20 years younger. And now my wife tells me I have to take Andro 400. Hi, this is Ron Johnson from Utah. After 10 weeks of taking Andro 400, I lost 13 pounds, and my waist went from 36 to 33. That was eight years ago. I continue to take Andro 400, and I've maintained my weight at 172, gained muscle and energy. I'm 63 now and feel better than I have in 30 years. Andro 400, the natural way to increase testosterone, lose belly fat, gain energy, and feel great. Try Andro 400, the safe, effective, affordable way to boost your testosterone. Go to andro400.com or call 888-400-0435. 888-400-0435. 
So you've got to take a state construction license exam or certification. Can't decide on what books or what chapters to study? Discover right now how you can eliminate unnecessary books and wasted study time. At ContractorExam.com, our study materials zero in on state-required test topics in an effective, multiple-choice format. So whether you're a plumber, electrician, general contractor, or other construction-related trade, ContractorExam.com will help get you prepared. Visit us at www.ContractorExam.com today. Are your Google search results killing you? Unflattering content in blogs, news articles, online reviews, social media, or other sources can jeopardize your reputation, your business, and your livelihood. Let Reputation.com help. Our patented technology will make the truth about you more visible while pushing down unwanted negative content. Improve your Google search results. Call Reputation.com at 1-800-831-0771 for a free consultation. That's 800-831-0771. As a doctor, I see patients every day who are losing their vision and independence to age-related macular degeneration, also known as AMD. It's the leading cause of blindness in adults 55 and older. Some of us are at greater risk for AMD. If you have blurry vision or blind spots, they can be symptoms of AMD. If left untreated, it can lead to blindness. The good news? With early detection, AMD can be managed with effective clinically approved treatments that can reduce or even reverse some vision loss. Learning that you have AMD can be scary, but there's hope and help. The Foundation Fighting Blindness is researching and developing treatments and cures for AMD. To get your free AMD information packet, contact the Foundation Fighting Blindness today at 1-800-BLINDNESS. That's 1-800-BLINDNESS. Join the fight against AMD, because together there is a cure in sight. We use mobile devices right against our bodies every day, but growing scientific evidence has emerged showing serious health risks associated with exposure to EMF radiation emitted from these devices. The solution is Defender Shield, the most effective mobile radiation shielding ever developed. Defender Shield blocks virtually 100% of EMF radiation from cell phones, tablets, and laptops and starts at just $64.99. Buy now at DefenderShield.com. For 10% off, use promo code GCN. DefenderShield.com, the worldwide leader in mobile radiation shielding. to the Nasima Omer Show, produced by Genesis Communication Network. Do enjoy listening to our show at, at your own time and sharing these show files with your friends and family by going to nasimaomer.com or gcnlive.com. That's Genesis Communication Network Live.com. If you have questions after the show, please call me at 877-279-9422. Or if you've missed something and you'd like more information, please call me at 877-279-9422 or drop me a line and you can get my information by going to nasimaomer.com or finding my show list on gcnlive.com. I am talking with Mayor Elizabeth Coutts and Amber Cameron today focusing on the city of Burnsville and in in particular on the International Festival of Burnsville that's going to happen again annually since the last 10 years on July the 16th, 2016. Just before we went on break, Amber was giving us a little more information about her background and her involvement along with being a teacher outreach uh, in outreach programs at the U of M and so much more. Amber, please tell us a little more about your public engagements. Great. So, yes, Ms. Nima, I work in what's called the Office for Public Engagement at the University of Minnesota. And the goal of our office is really to make it easier for faculty, staff, and students to interact with the community through research, teaching, and outreach. 
And so a lot of what we do is help make sure that university policies and procedures and practices um, are aligned so that we don't create unnecessary barriers um, for those types of opportunities to happen. And another thing that we do is um, we estimate across the university system there's probably 200 units that are doing work in partnership with communities, both in Minnesota but also internationally. And our job um, at the university is to bring all these units together so people can learn about each other's work and to network so that they can really um, kind of build off of each other's work to make headway on some of the really challenging grand um, issues in our society, such as hunger or poverty or um, environmental concerns. And so our office really works to bring these people together to create those opportunities for conversation. That is amazing. That is such a neat program that you've been involved in, and I can clearly tell you're so passionate and close to everything that you do along with, you know, your bio on um, being also involved in Fairview Ridges and just helping people, help a people person. You are a people person. And, uh, when, yeah. Yeah, one of the things that I really am so excited about and proud of, uh, Amber, is that um, – you're bringing your talents and your skill set to enrich our community and to scale the work that we're doing in bringing people together and to be engaged in our community. And your work with the International Festival has been just outstanding in what you've done. So oh, great. you should mm-hmm. let people know mm-hmm. uh, about the festival and the time and what all is going to be expected yeah, at the yeah. festival. You're the chair. You're the chair yeah, this right. year. Congratulations. And, and a great job she's doing. I totally second that and so much more, I'm sure. Tell us. Tell us what to expect. You well, know, thank maybe, you both very yeah, much. That's and, nice. Yeah. And I do want to go into a, We have a very special reception that occurs at that time, too, during the festival. So we'll dive into that, too. But go on, Amber, please. Right. Tell us what to well, expect. I want to say that this is really a team effort. There is a great group of people who are making this uh, festival happen, and it's one of the coolest events that that I'm able to go to during the summer. So I really encourage anyone... If you live in Burnsville to come, if you if you live near Burnsville, please drive in and experience this awesome event. Um, it's a day-long festival, again, on Saturday, July 16th from 3 to 9 p.m. in Nicollet Commons Park. And it's really intended for people of all walks of life. So if you have a family, it's a great experience for that. If you're a young couple and want to hear some great music, come for that. If you're a foodie and want to have some awesome food, come for that. There's a variety of experiences that you can engage with at the festival. So please come. We have amazing groups lined up to perform at the festival, everything ranging from an Afro-funk group, the Black Market Brass Band, which is an upcoming band in Minneapolis, is going to open our festival. We have an Irish dance group, we have a South American salsa group, and we're going to close with a Caribbean band called Sokaholic, which is high Wonderful, energy. wonderful. I hear that music again, and we'll be right back after this short commercial break to hear more of the fun activities offered at the International Festival of Burnsville. Attention backpackers on a budget. Why spend $80 to $300 to pump clean survival water? Introducing the Viva Water Pump Kit from Viva Outdoor Products. Super easy to use and super lightweight at only 6.5 ounces, the Viva Water Pump Kit provides high flow rate at 1 ounce per stroke, can be one hand pumped, and is dependable and affordable at only $24.99. Filter not included. Get your Viva Water Pump Kit at viba-odp.com from Viva Outdoor Products. This is Dan Pilla. Do you owe the IRS money you can't pay? Are tax debts crippling you? I've defended people from the IRS for over 30 years. I've helped thousands, and I can help you too. I wrote the book on IRS settlement, and I'm telling you, there's no such thing as a hopeless case. Call 800-34-NO-TAX to finally get free of IRS debt. With the IRS's new programs, there's never been a better time to solve your problem. Call 800-34-NO-TAX. That's 800-34-NO-TAX or my website, danpilla.com. 
My computer is so slow, it's making me crazy. I used to have that problem. Did you quit using the computer, or, or did you buy a new one? No, I called Geeks on Site. They made an appointment to visit my home and showed up the same day. You mean they didn't ask you to bring your computer to a shop? That's what happened when I called a support company. Geeks on Site can go to your home or business or even repair your computer online. They have 24-7 emergency service. If you are having problems with your PC or Mac, call Geeks on Site. 1-800-591-1682. Our friendly certified computer repair experts are available 24-7. Call now for a free diagnosis, 1-800-591-1682. Data recovery, virus removal, and maintenance for all laptops, desktops, printers, and networks. That's Geeks on Site for friendly certified computer repair experts available 24-7 over the phone or in your home or business. Just call 1-800-591-1682. That's 1-800-591-1682. one 800 591 1682. I'm Nick Sobolewski, a select quote agent with a true story that could save you hundreds of dollars a year. A woman named Linda just called. Her husband, Ray, has a $300,000 group life insurance policy, but is changing jobs and can't take it with him. Well, I impartially shopped the highly rated term life insurance companies we represent and found Ray, who is 41 and takes medication to control his cholesterol, a 10-year, $500,000 policy for under $26 a month. That's almost twice the coverage for less than half of what he had paid. If SelectQuote hasn't shopped for your life insurance, you're probably paying too much. For your free quote, call 1-800-403-4885. That's 1-800-403-4885. 1-800-403-4885. Or go to SelectQuote.com. We shop. You save. Get full details on the example policy at slowquote.com slash commercials. Your price could vary depending on your health issuing company and other factors not available in all states. If you're considering going back to school, ask yourself the following questions. Do you need the flexibility to take classes on your schedule? Do you have college credits you need transferred? Do you want to earn a quality degree from a world-renowned university? If you answered yes to any of these questions, Arizona State University is the perfect school for you. Arizona State University offers over 100 highly ranked degree programs, 100% online. You'll earn the same degree as you would on campus, from wherever you are, on your schedule. Plus, ASU Online accepts most transfer credits. For information, call 1-800-933-1430. Learn for yourself why the Wall Street Journal ranks ASU fifth in the nation for producing the best qualified graduates, and why 90% of ASU grads are recruited within 90 days of graduation. Learn to grow, learn to succeed, and learn to thrive at Arizona State University. To learn more about ASU online degrees, call 1-800-933-1430. That's 1-800-933-1430. Here's Dr. Paul Meyer, Christian psychiatrist, author of 85 books, and founder of the national chain Meyer Clinics, to tell you about two Your Health Liquid Vitamins. I've been taking these every day for over a decade now, and I try to encourage every one of my clients to take them every day. And there's a number of reasons. First of all, it's the, it's the best vitamins you can get. It's got dozens of vitamins, antioxidants, and nutrients in it. And then the most important reason why I do it as a psychiatrist and, and recommend it to my patients is because it's got brain food in it. It's got the essential amino acids. It's got tryptophan, phenylalanine, tyrosine, choline, vitamin B6, and these chemicals that are all natural from food turn into the brain chemicals that make you happy. Do Your Health is delicious. Find out more today. Call us 800-801-3459 or visit online at mytoyourhealth.com. Use the coupon code RADIO15 for a 15% discount on your order. That's mytoyourhealth.com. Listening to the Nasima Omer Show. I am Nasima, your host today, and I'm having a great conversation with Mayor Elizabeth Kotz of City of Burnsville and Amber Cameron, the chair on the board of the International Festival Burnsville 2016. Just before we went to break, Amber was giving us a sample of what to expect on this year's International Festival, July 16th, Saturday from 3 to 9 p.m. It's There's no entrance fee, so come one, come all, and enjoy. And as you explained, there's things for everybody. 
Amber, just before the music came on, you were explaining all the different groups and entertainment groups that you have there. And uh, some of the ones that I caught were, you know, uh, Afro music, salsa music. I know one year we had Argentine tango as well, and that has a sweet spot for me because I love that dance as well. And please go on. Tell us a little bit more about that. So there's a music on stage and dance performances. Exactly. Yep. So there's a main stage, and we're going to have nine different groups um, performing throughout the day. And so you can go to the website, which is intlfestburnsville.org, to see all the acts that are going to be performing and what time. In addition to the performances, we have a lot of other things going on. Um, there's amazing food vendors from Burnsville businesses. We have um, an Indian restaurant, Somali restaurant. Uh, we have a, the Mediterranean Cruise Cafe, which is always popular, and David Fong selling Chinese food. In addition, we're excited to welcome Nutmeg Brewhouse this year, who's going to be selling both food and their craft beer. And so um, please come for the food. There's also amazing family activities that the host, Nasima has organized. Um, Nasima, do you want to tell us a little bit about those activities? I'd love to. I'd love to. You know, the family activity areas is located kind of what we call on the hill of the Nicollet Park Commons area. And it's always such a fun time. It's such a lively time as well with kids of all ages and their family members typically. And it's not just for family members. Anyone can come join in. We have um, people who've been coming uh, for more than one year and, you know, repeat uh, vendors because they just do a wonderful, wonderful job. And they're just so good with children and family and adults as well. We have face painting, we have crazy hair, we have henna art on hands or feet, we have hair braiding, we have an awesome balloon twister who makes all these beautiful shapes of balloons in no time. It's just amazing how a person is so talented and skilled in so many different areas and can do that. And this year in particular, we'll also be interviewing attendees of the festival in just some short interviews and that will be streamed and podcasted live as well. So that's our new exciting. And we have fantastic sponsors and so much going on in that area. Uh, so do come in and, and the family activities area will be from 3 to 7 p.m. because we want everybody to enjoy all the other entertainment and food and things that uh, Amber has explained. Yeah, Amber, and there are also cultural tables, aren't there? Exactly, yeah. yeah. So, so we have Germany and all the uh, Far Eastern Bloc countries, too, who are all part of our, of our community, and they're going to be fo- uh, featured as well? Exactly. So inside um, in the AIM Center, which is a gorgeous performing arts center in Burnsville, we have, we're going to have 15 cultural exhibits that um, our chair for that area organized. And so people uh, from those countries are going to be able to talk with you about um, their cultural background, about the food that they eat, about the dresses that they wear, and you'll be able to kind of tour the world without having to leave Burnsville right in the AIM Center. And, and, that, and oh. the flags, and the flags. Yes, and the flags. We have a, a great parade of flags that kicks off the event that Mayor Coates um, is a part of, and everyone brings their flag up onto the stage so you can really see the representation from around the world that's present at the festival. Mm-hmm. It's always such an exciting time when we open the festival, Amber, and you see that parade of flags and you see the people who represent our community. And, you know, what people don't realize is that in Nicollet Commons Park are two obelisks. And it tells the story of Burnsville through hieroglyphs. You know, uh, the the settlers of Burnsville, the original settlers of Burnsville are our Native American uh, people, uh, 
and uh, and then you see the immigrants from Europe, the Germans and the uh, Irish, who came and farmed the land, and then how Burnsville became the city that it is today. But it is about being a city that is welcoming and embracing all of who we are. And so it's really nice that this festival identifies who we are as a community, but in that park where the obelisks really tell people this is who Burnsville is and we don't want to forget our heritage that uh, not only our Native American uh, heritage but our farming heritage and it's being and that story is told through our public art so That's and it's right wonderful. there that that is so wonderful and you know do i do encourage everyone to go indoors and look at the gallery and look at the grounds and and everything there's so much to offer and we hold the festival whether it's rain or shine i do remember times when we've had to move some of the activities indoors and it was so well orchestrated the whole community and all the attended attendees participate to make things happen and follow the plan B of action and have a great time after that anyways. Yeah. And so. Amber, I think you've already uh, have on the website, I just pulled it up, but uh, you're looking at the forecast for uh, Saturday, July 16th, and it looks like 63 to 81 degrees and mostly sunny. Wonderful. Oh, well, Wonderful. Yay. Yay. Yep. Yeah, do tell us the resources again, and then you have Facebook pages as well, and a Facebook event as well as the website, and if all else fails and you can't remember the resources, you can reach out to me, send me a note, and I'll get that information to you, or uh, City of Burnsville has that information too, and we have our flyers and posters of the International Festival of Burnsville posted as well. Exactly. Mm -hmm. One other thing I want to mention is um, a great art exhibit that we have that goes along with the festival. And the exhibit runs for a month long, and we partnered this year with the Islamic Resource Group to bring an exhibit called Tracks in the Snow. And what the exhibit is about is it's the untold narratives of Minnesota Muslims and about their experience living here. And it's a photography exhibit with 25 portraits of Minnesota Muslims with short interviews about their experience and why they chose Minnesota as their home. And so this is on display in the AIM Center Gallery uh, during the festival, but also before and after. And it's a really compelling exhibit that helps people understand uh, the diverse uh, backgrounds that are part of our Muslim community and how they um, are, are interwoven into our everyday life. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yep, yep. I'm very excited. Uh, I will be attending and seeing all of that on the 14th of July, just a couple of days before. And uh, another event that happens also on July 16th, the International Festival of Burnsville Day, is the very, very special by invitation uh, reception that uh, Elizabeth, you, the mayor of uh, Burnsville, have. Well, this year, and we always do it where we're highlighting a certain group. And yes. So we're highlighting all of our uh, service organizations who are very caring about this city, who are compassionate and give so much. So, you know, there's the, uh, the, the Lions Club who have done so much for the city of Burnsville and great partnership, the Rotarians, the Burnsville Community Foundation, as you know, June 2nd, the uh, unveiling of Ascent, mm -hmm. and which is a sculpture depicting three eagles that, with wings outspread that um, really tells about how this community is caring and compassionate and gives back. And then there's a lone eagle on the side, which um, is about one of our citizens, Ken Slipka, who is a man of... Um, great compassion and he mentored so many people and gave so much of himself and his resources for the community and so that lone eagle stands there uh, as an inspiration as well but uh, there is so much about 
the different organizations that give so much. So I don't want to leave anybody out, so I'm saying all of our community, I mean, even our faith community and the work that they do, whether it's feeding the hungry and so forth, there's so much that this community does um, to really tell about what we are. And one of the things that uh, surfaced when I was at the U.S. Conference of Mayors, of course, we've been doing I Love Burnsville for about 10 years, and uh, the Dalai Lama had talked about that. And so uh, Burnsville, uh, as as we talked about the work that we've been doing, should be the city of love because we have I Love Burnsville and we do all of these things because the city of Louisville, Kentucky, is the city of compassion. And Anaheim, California, has identified itself as the city of kindness. So we should all begin to look at, can you imagine what this world would be if every mayor and every city would really elevate and raise the awareness of who we are as human beings, co- coexisting and raising that awareness of compassion, caring, and mm-hmm. love for mm-hmm. one another. And peace. Oh, yes. and a wonderful, wonderful um, I am just so excited. Amber, if you were to pick one of your favorite, favorite, favorite things of the International Festival of Burnsville, what would it be? Oh, just one. I know, I know. That's a really hard question. I'm like, I, I'm happy no one asked me that. Yeah, it's your baby. <laughs> <laughs> How do you pick one? How do you pick I'm gonna one? Be, I'm going to be tricky and say... I love music, and so that's yeah. a big draw for me, yeah. but I think going to the first festival and then every year that I've been since, what has really impacted me is how many people from different walks of life come together to celebrate together on one day. I think it's a really powerful Yes, day. I would have to agree with you. Great answer. We'll be right back after our last section of today's show. Stay tuned. The Nasima Omer Show. For over five years, you've been hearing about the Berkey guy, so you may know a few things about him. For example, you are well aware of the superior quality and effectiveness of Berkey water filters and accessories. But did you know the Berkeys have had independent lab tests done to prove just how effective they are? It's true, and he can email you the test results. Just visit GoBerkey.com. You may also know that the Berkey guy has helped tens of thousands of people get better prepared. Now here's something you may not know. GoBerkey.com has amazing specials and deals all the time on a wide variety of survival and preparedness products. Most ready to ship same day. Visit the Berkey guy at GoBerkey.com and be sure to click the red Products on Sale Now button. You can always call toll-free 877-886-3653. Again, that's 877-886-3653. GoBerkey.com, home of the Berkey guy. Have you checked your Google search results lately? Search results are usually the first impression that people form of you or your business. So make sure that they create a positive impression with ReputationDefender.com. What the Internet says about you can have a big impact on your life and your livelihood, even if it's not true. Fortunately, you can now control how you look online and in online search results with ReputationDefender.com. Call 800-831-0771 now. That's 800-831-0771 for your free reputation. Reputation analysis. If you have negative material from an ex-employee, upset patient, or former client, newspaper article, legal issue, social media, or other source showing up in your search results, you can combat it with ReputationDefender.com. Our dedicated experts in patented technology can help make your online search results look their best. Call 800-831-0771 to learn more. 800-831-0771. That's 800-831-0771. Or visit ReputationDefender.com. As a doctor, I see patients every day who are losing their vision and independence to age-related macular degeneration, also known as AMD. It's the leading cause of blindness in adults 55 and older. Some of us are at greater risk for AMD. If you have blurry vision or blind spots, they can be symptoms of AMD. If left untreated, it can lead to blindness. The good news? With early detection, AMD can be managed with effective clinically approved treatments that can reduce or even reverse some vision loss. 
Learning that you have AMD can be scary, but there's hope and help. The Foundation Fighting Blindness is researching and developing treatments and cures for AMD. To get your free AMD information packet, contact the Foundation Fighting Blindness today at 1-800-BLINDNESS. That's 1-800-BLINDNESS. Join the fight against AMD, because together there is a cure in sight. There is an affordable alternative to the high cost of health care that offers freedom from insurance while providing compliance with the Obamacare individual mandate. Imagine having access to quality, affordable health care that allows you the freedom to choose your doctor and hospital. Members can share up to 100% of necessary medical expenses, including some alternative treatments. Find out how you and your family can contain health care costs without giving up your freedom. Go to libertyoncall.org. That's libertyoncall.org. Have you ever thought you'd like to flip houses but didn't know how or where to get the money? Are you ready to be your own boss so you can start living the good life? Hi, I'm Preston Ely. I used to be so broke. I had my electricity turned off nine times, but I figured out a way to quit my job and find financial freedom in real estate. For a limited time, I want to send you a free copy of my smash hit selling book, How to Get Rich in Real Estate. It shows you how to copy exactly what I did so you can make money from the comfort of your own home without even doing any manual labor. I've already given away 5,000 books and they're going fast. To get one before they're gone, call 1-800-958-958. 9859. Listen, if you're sick and tired of stressing about money, this book could change your life. It's short, fun to read, easy to understand, and awesome. To find out how to get your free book while supplies last, call 1 800 958 9859. Call 1 800 958 9859. 1 800 958 9859. Big Blue Attorney Spokesperson Adam Pulaski of the Pulaski Law Firm with Principal Office in Houston, Texas is the attorney responsible for the content of this ad. This ad is not legal advice and the choice of a lawyer should not be based solely upon advertisement. Services may not be available in all states. Attention Zarelto users. If you or a loved one took Zarelto and suffered a serious bleeding event, you may be entitled to financial compensation. Zarelto is a popular prescription blood thinner used to prevent blood clots and protect patients from strokes. These serious bleeding events have led to numerous cases of hospitalization and even death. Phone lines are open 24-7. Call 800-261-0937. That's 800-261-0937. And thank you for listening to the Nasima Omer Show. This is Nasima, your host, and I am interviewing Mayor Elizabeth Katz and Amber Cameron today on the city of Burnsville, highlighting the International Festival Burnsville that will take place on Saturday, July the 16th of this year, 2016, from 3 p.m. to 9 p.m., free entrance, so bring one, bring all, share the word, and come have fun. Lots to offer. If you missed anything and have some questions, please call me at 877-279-9422. All my information is available on nasimaomer.com or through Genesis Communication Network Live.com. That's GCN Live.com. Drop me a line and I will get back to you. Um, Mayor Elizabeth, I was so tickled pink to find out that the city of Burnsville, the cinema, the local theater, offers free movies for children during the summer. And the reason I came upon that is my lovely neighbor told me about that as soon as she found out that my grandkids were visiting me this summer and they are here. So uh, we have enjoyed that offering of Burnsville as many, many others. What else would you highlight uh, Burnsville uh, offers? Well, thank you, Nasima, for asking, but there is so much going on. Every Thursday in uh, Nicollet Commons Park is rocking for all of the young kids, and so there's reading, there's music, for children and so forth. And then Friday nights, twice a month, I think, is uh, Flicks on the Bricks. And it's always a family time where you can come, bring your children, and see a wonderful movie. And it's at Nicollet Commons Park. On Wednesday, we have uh, Wednesday night at the park, and that's inside um, Civic Center Park. So 
And on Sunday, we have music also from 7 o'clock in uh, at the heart of the city in Nicollet Commons Park. Wonderful. There is so many things going on in Burnsville, and going to www.burnsville.org will give people a lot of information that, of what's going on because we also have a lot of experiences for seniors, for families, for children, and a lot of it is free. And so there's just a lot. Yeah, so there's no excuses for anyone can come and enjoy. And if you want to give off yourself with time, and I'm sure there are many, many volunteering opportunities uh, that you would find uh, would be fitting for you if that is what you choose to do to give back to the city of Burnsville as well. Amber, uh, tell us a little mo- bit more about the International Festival of Burnsville, and if you would give us the website once more, please. Yes. Um, so, again, it is a free event taking place on Saturday, July 16th. There's awesome music. There's wonderful food. There's activities for kids. There's an art exhibit. You can uh, learn about different cultures through the cultural exhibits. So there's just a wealth of activity that you can do um, on that day. And it looks like it's going to be a gorgeous day, hopefully, so we'll be outside. And if you want to find more information about any of those things or to see a schedule, please visit us at intlfest.com. Burnsville.org, or you can find us on Facebook and just search International Festival of Burnsville. Wonderful. And, you know, I don't want to forget mentioning the raffle. We have some great raffles at the International Festival of Burnsville, too. So when you stop by the registration table or to buy tickets for your food and some certain activities. We have a lot of free activities, so you don't need to buy anything. But should you want to, you can buy a raffle ticket for some fabulous prices as well. And uh, if you want to get more involved in the International Festival of Burnsville, please do reach out to me as well, and I can get you connected that way. Thank you again, Mayor Elizabeth Todd, Amber, and to all our audience. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Nasima, for having us today to talk with you. It's been a pleasure. Are you worried about your mom or dad living alone in their house? Hi, I'm Joan London. Listen, I know how difficult it is to find senior care for someone you love. That's why I recommend a free service called A Place for Mom. They are the nation's largest senior living referral service. Call A Place for Mom today. To receive free information on senior living communities in your area, call A Place for Mom at 1-800-704-6182. A Place for Mom offers free, one-on-one advice from local advisors and a personalized list of senior living communities you can visit. If you have questions about senior care for your mom or dad, there's a place for answers, a place for mom. Call A Place for Mom in the next 10 minutes to get your free ebook on financing senior care as well as free information on senior living communities in your area. Call 1-800-704-6182. That's 1-800-704-6182. Are you worried about how dangerous the world has become? In these days of terrorist attacks, natural disasters, or even a future collapse, you need to be medically prepared to keep your family safe. I'm Joe Alton, MD of store.doomandbloom.net, where you'll find an entire line of unique...
uniquely designed medical kits and supplies for when help is not on the way. For everything from individual first aid kits to the ultimate family medical bag, go to store.doomandbloom.net today. That's store.doomandbloom.net. You'll be glad you did. Worried about lead, fluoride, and other contaminants in your drinking water? Get a ProPure with the Pro 1G 2.0 cleanable reusable filter and remove up to 200 contaminants. Drink water the way nature meant it to be. Clean, crisp, and refreshing. See the complete line of ProPure products, including the new ProMax shower filter. There's a ProPure for you. Visit your authorized ProPure dealer for details or ProPureUSA.com. That's P-R-O-P-U-R-U-S-A.com. 